Lucy and her best friends, Lily, Joy, and Rhonda, were having a pajama party. They decided to watch a movie in the living room. Lucy went to the kitchen to get some snacks. When she returned, she saw that Lily was lying on the floor unconscious. Rhonda said, I was on the phone talking to my boyfriend. Suddenly, Joy hit Lily with a pillow and she fell down. I don't know why. Joy said, Rhonda's lying. She hit Lily with a pillow very hard on purpose. Who's lying? Both of them. There are no pillows in this room. After the movie, the girls decided to play with a Ouija board. They called the ghost of a famous singer. Suddenly, the pointer on the board started moving by itself and wrote this. Evil Lots Yad 3 Eva Hoy. Can you help Lucy and her friends decode this message? It says, you have three days to live. The girls freaked out and interrupted the session. Lily offered everyone to take some pictures. They took many cute photos, but when they scrolled through the gallery, they freaked out even more. Why? All four friends are in this picture, but then... Who took it? Lucy told her friends it was time to get some sleep. But as soon as they entered the room, they ran out Ah! screaming. Why? Look at the mirror. It reflects a creepy shadow waving at them. Eventually, Lucy offered her friends to sleep in her parents' bedroom and she opted for the couch in the living room. The TV was on, and it calmed her down. In the middle of the night, she heard some noise from the bedroom and hurried to check on her friends. All of them seemed to be sleeping. Can you guess which one wandered outside? Lily, she has leaves in her hair. The next day, Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily met in the classroom. They were very concerned. Why? This is Joy's desk, and it's empty. She didn't come to school. Neither did she warn anybody. Look, Lucy is carrying a cup of coffee with Joy's name. Joy didn't show up and didn't answer her friend's calls. Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily went to visit her. They found the girl in bed, under a blanket. The friends got very scared. Can you tell why? Joy has covered the window with a blackout curtain, and the shape of her ears and teeth has changed. She's turning into a vampire! Lily decided to stay and take care of Joy. Meanwhile, Rhonda offered Lucy to visit her Aunt Vera. She ran a magic shop with different potions. When Vera heard about what happened to Joy, she said, Okay, I need three ingredients to cook a healing drink. Here's the first one. When it comes to me, you go when you see red and stop at green. Can you guess the ingredient? It's watermelon. To get the second ingredient, Vera took Rhonda and Lucy to her cherry garden. Rhonda picked eight cherries, Lucy picked 13, and Vera picked 14. How many apples did they collect together? Zero. Apples don't grow in cherry gardens. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a hint about the third ingredient. Here it is. Can you help them crack this rebus? It's Mandragora. 
Mandragora grew near the spookiest house in town. Vera gave Lucy and Rhonda a task to find it and bring it to her store. While Rhonda was searching in the garden, Lucy decided to get a closer look at the house. She saw a sign with a weird name on it, Seoman Eprik. She went to the huge door and opened it quietly. After Lucy got inside, the door slammed shut behind her back. Tons of vampire bats rushed at her. Lucy started pulling on the door like crazy. Suddenly, she saw that there was something written on it. Change the order of letters in Seoman Eprik. She yelled the answer, and the door opened. What did the girl say? The real name of that place was Creepy Mansion. Rhonda found three root vegetables in the garden, but only one of them was Mandragora. Can you figure out which veggie Rhonda should pick? Even if you've never seen a mandrake, you can eliminate the other plants. This is definitely a carrot, and this is a beet. So the remaining one must be the mandragora. Lucy and Rhonda prepared to leave the spooky house, but suddenly they stepped on a trap hidden in the grass and fell into a deep well. They looked around and found three tunnels leading to freedom. A fire-breathing dragon was waiting in the first tunnel. It was very angry and disliked people. There was a portal leading into a black hole in the second tunnel, and huge cacti were growing all over the third tunnel. Their juice was poisonous to any human. Which way should Lucy and Rhonda choose? The third one. Look, those cacti don't have any spines, and no one's gonna force the girls to drink cactus juice. Vera cooked the potion for joy. Lucy and Rhonda took it to the girl's house. But when they entered her room, it was empty. Joy's parents said that Lily and Joy had left together. They were both acting very weird. Rhonda said, Oh no, they've both turned into vampires. We've got to find them before it's too late. Can you help them find any clues in Joy's room? Look at her laptop. They seem to have bought train tickets to go to Las Vegas to visit Joy's granny. Lucy and Rhonda boarded the train. Besides them, there were four other people in the car. One of these passengers didn't have a ticket. Can you figure out who it is? This woman. She's the only one who's hiding her head behind the headrest of her seat so that the camera doesn't spot her. When the train was going through a tunnel, the lights went out and the passengers got very frightened. When the light turned on again, one of the passengers shouted, Help me! Someone has stolen my bag! Lucy immediately realized who had done this. What about you? Any ideas? Yeah, this guy. There's some makeup lying under his seat, and his window is open. He put the contents of the bag into his backpack, and then threw the bag out the window. Rhonda and Lucy got to Las Vegas and headed for the house where Joy's granny lived, but they kept coming to the wrong houses. In the first house, they met this old lady, and in the second, there was this one. Can you tell which elderly woman is dangerous? It's the second one. She's up to something, while the first one is just getting ready for a Halloween party. Finally, Lucy and Rhonda found the right house. The door was open. When they entered, they saw Joy's granny unconscious on the floor. She had a vampire bite on her neck. Suddenly, Joy and Lily popped out of nowhere. They had pale faces, sharp teeth, and pointy ears. They came closer and closer, ready to bite their friends. Suddenly, Rhonda began laughing and exclaimed, huh, Stop fooling around, it's just a prank! How did she know? The 
the mirror reflects joy, and Lily casts a shadow. They're not real vampires, it's just a Halloween prank. Joy went to take a shower to remove her vampire makeup, but someone poured paint into the shower head and the water turned green. Joy questioned Lucy, Rhonda, and Lily. Lucy said, I did my laundry and then went to cook some kiwi jam. Sorry, I gotta go, it might burn. Lily said, I took a shower and washed my hair right before you went in. What happened? Why are you so green? And Rhonda said, I'm studying for my geometry test. Can you keep it down, please? Who pranked Joy? Lily said she'd just washed her hair, but it's dry and braided. Besides, she's wearing a dress under her bathrobe. That's a pretty suspicious outfit. Rhonda decided to prank Lily. She took a balloon and a cupcake paper cup. She filled the balloon with some water and put it into the paper cup. Then she added some shaving cream on top and decorated it all with sprinkles. Now it looked exactly like a real cupcake. Rhonda was very proud of herself. Suddenly, she heard other girls entering the kitchen. Rhonda left her cupcake on a plate, along with real cupcakes, and hid under the table. Lily, Lucy, and Joy entered the kitchen, saw the cupcakes, and decided to eat them. Can you tell who took the prank cupcake? Joy, the real cream has already melted but the shaving cream still looks perfect. Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy went out to celebrate Halloween. They knocked on the neighbor's door. Mike opened the door. The girls shouted, trick or treat. Mike said, I'm going to give you diamonds instead of sweets if you crack my riddle. You will always find me in the past. I can be created in the present, but the future can never taint me. What am I? Each of the four friends got a beautiful diamond. What did they tell Mike? The correct answer is history. The girls went to the local Halloween party. The hostess didn't want to let them in without a password, but they didn't know it. The woman liked their costumes, so she gave them a little hint. I eat clams. I live in the ocean, I move slowly, I have five arms. What am I? In no time, Joy, Rhonda, Lily, and Lucy were inside. So, what was the password? A starfish. Detective Tina received an emergency call from the local museum. Someone had stolen an exclusive scarab brooch from ancient Egypt. First of all, Tina checked all security cameras. This is what she found. Can you spot the thief just by looking at these two pictures? See this guy? He's holding an open paper cup in the first image. But in the second image, the cup has a lid. The guy hid the stolen brooch in his paper cup. Detective Tina hurried to the crime scene. When the brooch disappeared, the museum security system locked all visitors inside the building. But the guards didn't find the suspected person among the visitors. How did he escape? Have you guessed? Take a look up at the ceiling. See the shoe prints on the statue? The thief climbed this sculpture and escaped through the window on the roof. Tina went to the roof to search for some clues. Can you see any? The thief left the cup on the roof. There's a coffee shop name written on it. Bright Cup. Tina can visit this place and check the security cameras. Tina arrived at the coffee shop, located just nearby the museum. Unfortunately, they didn't have security cameras, so Tina questioned the staff. Kelly, the barista, said, Sorry, I don't know this guy. I'm just trying to do my job. Mike, the manager, said, 
This face looks familiar, but I'm not sure where I saw him. And Phil, the guard, said, Sorry, never saw him. You can trust me. I have a perfect memory for faces. Tina knew for sure that one of them had lied. Can you spot who exactly? Kelly, look at her iPad. There's an incoming call from her boyfriend. Take a closer look at the contact photo. It's our thief. Therefore, Kelly is an accomplice in the crime. Tina told Kelly, I'm afraid we should continue this conversation at the police station. But Kelly ran away through the backyard. Tina followed her and ended up in a dark basement. She got lost and found these three cages. The first cage is covered with fire. There are huge ice cubes all over the second cage. And the third cage is full of venomous scorpions. Tina has to choose one of them to get to the surface. Can you help her choose the safest option? The cage with the ice cubes. She can get cold, but it's still safer than the other two cages. The police caught Kelly and brought her to the station. During interrogation, Kelly told Tina four facts. First of all, this guy's name is Alex. Secondly, he's my ex-boyfriend. We don't get along anymore. We went to the same college and met in history class. And finally, I don't know why he'd stolen this stupid brooch. One of the facts is false. Can you guess which one? The fourth one. Look at Kelly's tattoo. It's identical to the stolen brooch. She definitely knows something about the stolen item. Kelly confessed that the thief might be hiding in an abandoned castle site outside the city. Tina went to check it out. But anyone who wants to reach the castle should go through this tangled maze. Can you tell which one of these four paths will bring Tina to the castle? The first path leads to the pond with crocodiles. The third one leads nowhere. And the fourth way goes back to the beginning. So Tina should choose the second path. Tina entered the castle and saw a room full of ancient artifacts. She spotted the thief right away. What about you? Can you see him? This mummy is holding a cell phone. Alex ran away to the basement and Tina followed him. Unfortunately, the door behind her slammed shut and she got stuck. Can you help her break the code to escape? A calendar on the door says, you force heaven to be empty. If you read the sentence again, you're going to hear a seven-digit code. U, four, seven, two, B, M, T. In the next room, Tina got stuck in another trap. The creepy voice explained, If you press the right button, I'm going to let you go. But if you choose the wrong one, you'll stay here forever. You've only got one chance to escape. Good luck. Which button opens the lock? Have you guessed? She should pick the black button. This picture on the wall is a hint. The rainbow contains all colors except for black. Tina got out of the trap and entered a room full of old furniture. She noticed three odd details about this room right away. What about you? There are books in this burning fireplace, but they don't burn. Take a look at this painting on the wall. This lady's winking. And the reflection in this mirror doesn't match the room at all. Tina found Alex near these underground gates leading to an ancient underground city. He explained that the scarab brooch hid a secret key, but there are four different locks on the gates. 
the guys only have one attempt to choose the right one. Which lock should they pick? The fourth lock is the only perfect match for this key. The guys opened the gates and entered the city. Alex had a map, so he ran away to find the treasures and left Tina alone. She looked around and noticed a three-way road pointing to the north, west, and east. Tina didn't know where to go. Suddenly, she saw a lady. The local citizens always reply truthfully, but they answer only one question if they're talking to a stranger. What should Tina ask to figure out the right direction? She should ask, if the right direction is not the east, is it west? Here's why. There are three possible answers. 1. Yes, west is correct. 2. No, east is the right direction. 3. Neither one nor the other. Tina should go north. Or, Tina might just ask the name of this lady and then introduce herself. This way, they won't be strangers anymore, and Tina would be able to ask as many questions as she needed. Tina went north and finally found the entrance to a cave with treasures, but the door has a combination lock. Can you help Tina figure out the code? Take a look at these figures. The number corresponds to the sum of intersection points. Therefore, she needs to calculate the number of points in the last figure. And voila! The four-digit code is solved. Inside the caves, Tina met a dragon. It said, I'm gonna let you in if you can crack my riddle. I'm gonna let you in if you can crack my riddle. I'm quite hot, but if you remove the first two letters, I become too cold. What am I? Have you guessed? The correct answer is spice. When we take away the first two letters, it turns into ice. To find the treasures, Tina has to walk through this round maze. She only has 10 seconds to choose the correct way. Can you help her out? Here's the easiest way. Tina found three doors in the center of the labyrinth. Each door leads to treasures. But each way also hides some danger. The first path is filled with poisonous gas. There are thousands of toads and bugs behind the second door. They crawl all over the floor and walls. And a hungry lion is hiding behind the third door. Which way should Tina choose? The second way, although bugs and toads can be gross, they're not dangerous. Tina took the treasures and headed home. Suddenly, she met Alex. Tina decided to trick him and offered him a deal. If you manage to solve my puzzle, I'm going to give you 100% of the treasures. But if you fail, you'll get nothing and go to jail. Here's the riddle. Move just one match to point this giraffe in a different direction. Alex failed to crack this riddle. What about you? Here's the correct answer. Pretty easy, huh?